everyone, and welcome to Distance Learning at Miss Temple's apartment. Yay! So, I have something super special for you today. Starting today, um, which is Tuesday, we are going to have Interview Tuesdays. Now, you're probably saying, Miss Temple, what does that mean? A lot of times you guys have asked me if I know any real artists. So I am going to be interviewing some of my friends from college, from art school, from graduate school, from high school, um, who are professional artists. And I'm going to interview them and talk to them about what it's like being a real artist during the day. Um, and I'm hoping that you will love it. Uh, I have some surprises in store. I have some um, people who are illustrators, people who work in museums, um, people who are um, working with lighting design for the Oscars, um, tons of really fun things. But the first one we're going to do is my friend, Miss Perrine Lasseau. I hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, this is my friend Miss Lasseau. I'm so excited for you to meet her. Um, Miss Lasseau, why don't you tell us what you do? I am a paper conservator, which means that I work for museums and I repair and fix up art for the museum. That is so cool. Um, have you, so tell me a little bit what else you do. Like, do you like just like put tape on it or do you like, tell me about what it means. So, a uh, paper conservator hates tape. <laughs> the tape is our enemy. We spend a lot of time actually removing tape from objects. We call art in museums objects because it can mean so many different things. For me, it means watercolors, paintings, drawings, all on paper. So what I do is I spend time and I look at an object and I assess what the condition of it is. Is it torn? Does it have a fold in it? Does it have a stain on it? And then I use science and my um, experience in art school to mend and fix these problems of the art. Wow, that's so cool. So what made you want to do this, Miss Lasseau? So I went to school with Miss Temple for art school, and I was really interested in becoming an illustrator for somebody that makes, say, picture books, something like that. Um, when I graduated, I realized that I sort of was more interested in art that was already made, mm -hmm. and I liked fixing things. Uh, I also like the chemistry. There's a lot of science involved with my field. Cool. Um, so I liked those things, and it all came together into this one career. I'm so happy with it. Is it really hard to do? It can be, it can be pretty hard. You have to be very focused. So not a lot of people running around or doing a lot of exciting things around you. You want to have, you know, focus in on what you're doing and you want to do everything really carefully slowly and with a pretty steady hand if you yeah i could imagine but, <laughs> um, now how long does it take you to fix one piece of art well it really depends if something just has a little tear in it just something like this that might take me five or ten minutes to fix oh okay but if there is something that is way more complicated, maybe it has a lot of tears or a lot of stains, or maybe there's a piece that I need to replace, that can take me many hours. Wow. So okay. some projects will take me a few days even. Wow. That's craziness. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited, Miss Lasso. I want to see some work that you've fixed or can fix in front of us. Do you have anything you can know? <laughs> Um, I have a book here, actually. Oh, cool. Um, let's see if I can get the camera so you can see what I'm looking at. Place a little bit. Oh, this wow. book is very, very old. This book is over, let's see now, over 400 years old. Yeah. It's almost as old as Miss Temple. No. Just kidding. <laughs> almost. <laughs> so let me open it up. This book 
let's call it a picture book for the sake of understanding what we're looking at. There's pictures and there's text, but you won't be able to read this text because it's in Latin. Whoa! Yeah. So this book, can you see that okay? Yeah, we can see. There it is. That's perfect. Look at that beautiful picture. So this is a title page. This is the title up top here. And the person that owned it wrote their name in the front. Now your librarian's going to say, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but this is really important for the people in the museums to understand who owned this book after yeah. it was made. This book was made in the year 1588. Wow. That is about 200 years before we became a country. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, this book talks about what we used to call this land called Virginia. Of course, today it's a state, but at that time it was off the coast. They were in an area off the coast of North Carolina but they were calling the whole area Virginia. And this is an old map with a little sea creature. Can you see that? I'll bring that object closer. Yeah, I see. Oh, like that's better. There's a little sea creature here. You can see the ships that they came on. There's a few shipwrecks going on here. So you can just see the tops of the masts sticking out of the water. And then the land behind. Oh, cool. Here are some of the Native Americans with their bow and arrows, and they're going hunting for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. You can see their little feathers in their hair and their bow like this. Yep. Here's one that shows them in their canoes down the river. Oh, I see that a little bit. Yeah. These are little canoes here. There's some ducks in the water here. Cool. Another canoe here. Now, Miss Lasso, is this in the corner right here? Is that a part that was fixed? Yes, actually throughout this book, there are some old men's, and this was made by the person who wrote their name on the front. Oh, so, cool. that's not a good one. <laughs> Let's see if I can find you another good one. Um, yeah, here you can see some of those. So there's a few holes in the paper on the side over here. Yeah. And the person that owned it before, um, they put a piece of paper behind in a similar way that we would do today to mend the tears. You see this piece of paper added in the back? Yeah. This is so cool, Miss Lasso. Yeah. And I, let me, I would like to show you one more thing if you have a minute. Of course, we have time. <laughs> this is a project that is not mine, but another person that works in the lab with me is working. Let's see. <sighs> oh, I'm so excited to see this. So you can see already some of the issues with this one. Handle the objects while we're looking at them. Ooh. So here you can see that there's this big dark stain on the print. Yeah. So we're trying to figure out how to remove that. In addition, all along this edge, there are many, many tears. Yeah. You see my tool going right through? Yeah. And wow. in this corner, we are missing the whole piece of paper along this edge. Wow. So these are all things that we're going to mend and fix to make this piece um, in a good enough condition so it can go into the museums. This is so cool. I am so jealous. I want to come and help you, Miss Lasso. This oh, is amazing. We would love to have you. Oh, well, I want to thank you so much, Miss Lasso, for telling me and showing me all of these really fun things. And if they have any questions, is it okay if I send them your way? 
Yes, absolutely. I'd okay. be happy to answer them. Great. I will let you know. Thank you so much, Miss Lasso. It was so Thank nice so to meet you. you. <laughs> See you later. I hope you enjoyed my interview, my very excited interview with my friend Miss Perrine Lasso. If you have any questions, um, you can email me at htemple at schools.nyc.gov and you can ask me a question to give to Miss Lasso. Um, she would love to hear from you and I can't wait to see what your questions are. See you later. <laughs>